Hey guys, welcome to Frame of Tarot. I'm going to do a quick little update on Divine Masculine just because I have it out here and I'm ready to do my daily. So I have decided I'm just going to go ahead and post this one. Um, I'm getting um, some different messages in here. So just kind of take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, I have reason to believe that this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups and this Empress over here are the same person doesn't have to be but I the way I'm reading the cards I'm thinking that this is the same person here um because well it doesn't doesn't have to be actually so let me just get into it so somebody could definitely be having okay so we got the, and the outcome here is the star card so a wish granted we also have the wish granted here in the middle um and we also have it down here a matter of fact um, nine of cups here as well um so the first message that I was seeing um, before I before I seen um, anything else was okay. So there could definitely be you know something to celebrate here, um, you know socializing, having fun, hanging out, um, some sort of wish being granted, receiving something with the six of pentacles. This is receiving something, um, and then we got this wish granted. And somebody, um, some of you guys may have been um, in between jobs right now, um, working hard. Um, but still um, uh, <clears throat> having troubles making ends meet because this is like um, um, instability. So this could be um, instability with a job here. Um, I know a lot of us are still struggling with the um, job scene right now, um, but this is someone who um, could be in between jobs or um, yeah, um, but working working hard here this is a payout um with the six of pentacles as well and the six and this two of pentacles um, can be as well um it's like a division of assets actually but anyways <laughs> then i got to pull on all the rest of the cards and um it dawned on me what was going on but somebody could definitely be receiving a gift here and it's going to be something to celebrate um something that leads to financial stability emotional fulfillment here i wish granted um, if you're looking for a job right now, this could be this job because um, we do have great fortune here on the bottom of the deck. Um, so anyways, what after pulling some cards, it dawned on me that what this is, you know, saying is there is a third. There's somebody who <laughs> likes to socialize, likes to be um, likes to drink a lot here, um, likes to indulge. Look at this King of Pentacles. Very greedy. Very, very much. Um, um, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, likes to have his cake and eat it too. This is someone who who has it all. Um, overindulges in the finer things. Whether that be materialistic. Whether he's a gambler. Um, but all these cards together, this is a king. This is somebody who is committed, who is, um, but not committed. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's third party here given to two. Someone, this king, this king definitely likes to indulge, likes to have his cake and eat it too, likes to get attention from the ladies, likes to socialize, likes to have fun. Um, he may even, um, take like pills or something, you know, um, some kind of pill, some kind of drug. Um, but this is very, very, very overindulgent, very much wants to have his cake, eat it too energy. Very much. This is a straight up cheater. This is someone who just, um, very carefree, very, um, free-spirited, um, likes to have fun, likes to socialize, likes attention. Um, <laughs> um, but it, so over here we have this Queen of Cups and this Queen King of Swords. So it, this Queen of Cups has completely shut down emotionally. She has completely shut down. She may not even be speaking well uh, at this time. Um, she's got the lid on her cup and she looks pissed. So this Queen of Cups has completely cut off the emotions here. 
Um, but somebody, I mean, they may be feeling trapped in this situation um, due to children. Maybe there's children involved because we do have the Empress here. And with that Queen of Cups, she's also motherly. Um, so some these people could be feeling trapped together because of some kids. Maybe someone's just stuck in the past about something. But this Empress has been betrayed. It's funny because yesterday it was the uh, Emperor who was coming up with the Ten of Swords. Um, you know, this could be uh, masculine energy. We can all take on um, masculine or feminine energies. Um, but with this Empress here, I think if, that's why I say that, you know, this could be this third party over here, you know, either or, but they're both motherly figures. Um, they're both paired with the sword um, card. And this, this, this queen has completely shut down her emotions um, because there's a betrayal. Painful ending. But then we have this king of cups here that is moving away from the situation. This is someone who's moving on, moving away. Um, moving to a peace, place, place of peace. Um, but why would the... Unless he's just emotionally distant, you know, maybe this is just emotionally distant. Maybe there's, um, maybe there's just distance that keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger between these two. But because this is moving away um, emotionally and this one's emotionally shut off. So that's why I was saying that this could possibly be the same person because they're also paired with swords, you know, air energy there. Um, this is like cutting, 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 um, uh, cutting ties and moving away because of a betrayal. So this queen, this mother figure here, um, has completely shut off all emotions. Um, and they may have just been staying in this because of the children here. But whatever is going on, there's like, I don't know if this is someone rushing in, a, a lead, rushing out, leaving quickly. This could be like literally like the cops coming um, to the house or something. But this is like argumentative, combative energy. So there's definitely some fighting going on in this commitment, in this marriage. Uh, maybe some harsh truth was spoken because we do have the King of Swords over here. Uh, so this is, this is very... Um, <laughs> Uh, kind of um, very stern energy. <laughs> very, um, I don't know how to explain it, but this could be legalities. We have the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the uh, Knight of Swords, and the Six of Swords. What the hell? A lot of air energy could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but then in the outcome, we have the Page of Wands with the Star. Could be dealing with Aquarius, could be dealing with the. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. Um, we got the higher font here too, and the moon. A lot of Pisces, um, Taurus energy and air. Um, but with this page of wands, you know, this is good news. Um, this is like help arriving. This is hope, healing, um, destiny. So this is good news. This is a wish being granted. This is help arriving. Maybe this is who is arriving here. Um, but there's definitely like some sort of secret secrecy going on in this commitment, in this marriage, something. See, yeah, we got seven of swords behind the higher font. So someone is definitely um, sneaking around, lying in this commitment. Yeah, some sort of truth is getting revealed. There's a higher front again and that Knight of Swords behind the moon. So it's like some sort of truth is being revealed. I mean, this could be like an emotional outburst. But, um, there's definitely going to be some sort of... Um, wish being granted here there's definitely some grief going on someone's definitely feeling some grief you know with that moon could be emotions we do have this this queen here this empress who has been betrayed she's closed off um 
there there could be some stagnancy or have been some stagnancy here um got stuck and paused like i was saying someone could just they could have been feeling stuck because of children um what uh, understanding popped out so maybe someone's finally beginning to understand something or maybe you're just needing to understand what's going on send out loving vibrations um divine timing came out so it's like the time is now um uh, and then we got the answer is yes and nostalgia so yes someone's thinking about the past yes someone's stuck in the past so that could be this here as well you know yes you know someone's someone's definitely feeling nostalgic about the past um needing to free free themselves here um maybe someone's gonna come in and reconcile a situation but we got forceful on the bottom of the deck here. Um, so someone, you know, I don't know, could be a little forceful. I don't, not really sure, but um, what popped out was lust, one-sided, and dependent. So these people jumped into this situation. Um, all over lust or um but it's all one-sided <laughs> and it's it's a one-sided situation especially with this two of pentacles and six of pentacles this is like the equal takes not 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 um, equal here um it's definitely one-sided um i'm seeing emotional distancing but definitely dependent here so these people got became dependent on each other over lust and it's just a one-sided situation um this 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 karma could have like um, been financially unstable in the past here because we do have poverty and we have wealthy man and expectation so maybe this karmic got with this divine masculine because um she thought it was going to bring her out of poverty or something we got wealthy man expectation and then pathway so it's like it's like they got together for the wrong reasons lust and money she thought that your divine masculine was going to provide could provide for her um got great fortune on the bottom so, you know, expectation, wealthy man, pathway, you know, because someone, yeah, all about the money. That's what I, that's how I've taken it. But like I said, this great fortune could also be, you know, this job coming in or whatever this is. This is a payout. This is something to celebrate. This is a wish granted, a wish granted here um just as like a side note um maybe you know this is like a gift to free you from financial constraints you know but when i asked what divine masculine like to say divine feminine from his heart it says if i knew then what i know now i would have made different choices and we will be together again and then on the bottom of the deck we got i just wasn't ready for you so behind that no other compares to you so yeah um <laughs> whatever's happening there's gonna be some sort of um news here help arriving a wish being granted here um I think someone's someone's deciding to move away from a situation like i said i think maybe someone's receiving this gift maybe you know even um, in order to leave. So that's what I got. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. If you have not, please do. And leave a comment down below. Let me know how this resonated with your situation. And we'll talk later, guys.